What's up people, this is Sif Urian, and right now we're going to be checking out episode 9 of season 2 of Vikings. It's called The Choice. We are getting really, really close to the season 2 finale, um, and it's really starting to build up to be a damn good season. Ragnar, Lagatha, and King Horik, they've all set sail for England. They're in Wessex now, and uh, so far everything went good with the first kind of meet and greet with King Egbert's son, and um, kind of like a peace treaty thing, like look, we've come to talk. You know, we want to arrange things and, and, and have peace. Everything was going good until King Egbert's son, he left. And King Horik, he had his son and a few people waiting for him. There was attack. They intentionally left the king's son alive so he could go back and, and, and tell them what's happened. King Horik cannot be trusted at all. I think shit's really going to hit the fan. Of course, King Egbert ain't going to let that slide. He's going to think, what the fuck? Atherson could even get into some shit as well. Like, this is just going to get real fucking messy, man. And Floki as well. Like, I've been thinking about it. And on one hand, I think he is Ragnar's inside man. But then if that's the case, then wouldn't Floki have overheard the plan that King Horik made with his son to go and do the ambush? Why didn't Floki tell Ragnar? You know, while I was editing the episode, it's been playing on my mind and I'm thinking maybe they really are going to turn Floki into a rival to Ragnar. Like, the fuck? So we are definitely going to get this in. But yeah, let's just do this, man. Episode 9, The Choice. I only want revenge. I want to kill King Egbert. And then perhaps I shall talk to him. <laughs> If we defeat Egbert in battle, he may be prepared to offer us more. In terms not only of gold, but of land. This was a gift in good faith. Why should there be good faith between us and Christians? You seem to forget I am king. We will strike camp tomorrow. And armed and ready, we will go to seek battle as our father Odin has taught us. Oh, I pray to the gods that the seer was right. That our son will not die tomorrow. No, you, Ragnar. Who knows what the gods have in store? Do you want to have sex? What? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Don't blame him for trying to throw it out there. <laughs> You've taught us not to worship false gods, but I've seen them. I've seen Thor in the sky. I've, I've seen the sparks from his anvil. I've felt the sea heave with his anger. Why is this false? Things that I've seen with my own eyes. Th things that... Ragnar believes. Shit, man, he's really stuck in the middle, isn't he? Not just on the basis of faith, but on the basis of friendship. Like, he generally likes King Egbert. Like, and like I said before, like, he doesn't really seem like you're paint by numbers bad guy. You know, he seems like he really cares about the Romans and Caesar and, you know, battle plans and, and like, he wants to be a great king. Like, that's that's the vibe I'm getting, so I don't know, man. <laughs> Only real villain I can see right now is King Horik. This is the place. How do you know? Because they are already here. A large force. But not large enough. We will go down to them. I think we should wait. I'm not waiting! The enemy is there. We have the advantage of the hill. Forward! <laughs> right, all right, he's the king. Let's go. Fuck, look at the wall. Oh my god. Right now. The gods are with us! Forward! Forward! Ah, oh, Floki. Oh, shit. 
on, bro. I want that little shit to go. Oh shit! Oh! Trampled him, what the fuck? Run. Run. Yeah, where's Beyond? I haven't seen Beyond in a while. No way. Other some will find Rolo and save him. I bet you. No, wait, stop. Athelstan? Who is it? Do you know this man? Come on. I know this man. His name is Rollo. He's Ragnar Lothbrook's brother. Father. This is an important man. See what you can do to save him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The horse trampled him, his legs fucked, I think. I reckon his um, legs fucked. Do you still think that we should not have talked to them first? <laughs> <laughs> they got beat, man. No other way around it. Since no axe, spear, or blade could touch my son today, he will now be known as Bjorn Ironside. <laughs> like that man just for the record I do know who he ends up becoming what am I to you friend say you are my family your family even better <coughs> all his fucking fault King Horat I said it man people are gonna fucking die all because of him the only way to bring an end to these incursions is to negotiate an agreement that is good for both sides. He but still wants to talk. Buying the services of these Northmen as mercenaries will certainly help us to overcome Mercia. See, that's what he wants. I have a suggestion. I think we should send Athelstan. But they may kill him. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. In any case, would it matter? <laughs> Are they really going to send him now? Oh shit! I want you all to know that Rollo is alive. Wounded. <laughs> but alive and being taken care of. I came here to talk to you. King Egbert sent you. You do his bidding. You are one of them. He offers you a chance for peace. He wants to talk of many things with you. Good things. Yes, and then kill us. No, he will not, I swear. He wants to reassure you in any way he can of his honest intentions. Then we will meet him. I will give him your answer. On, I will Ragnar. accompany you. Oh. <laughs> it is good to see you. I fear that you are dead. There are times that I wish I had been. Shit, Ragnar knows. I gave in to despair. Ragnar knows. So have you returned to your faith? Renounced doubt? I wish it was so simple. In the gentle fall of rain from heaven I hear my God, but in the thunder I still hear Thor. That is my agony. He's torn. I hope that someday our gods can become friends. <laughs> After you raided my kingdom for the first time, I swore eternal enmity and promised God and all his angels that I would be revenged on him. See, it's very similar. Like He wants peace, Ragnar wants peace. He wants to go to war, King Horik wants to go to war. It's the same thing on both sides, man. So, who have you chosen for our hostage? Your son again? No. Who then? You. Actually, you. King Ayla. Fucking knew it. <laughs> what do you say? I say this will end very badly. 
No use what you say. Hmm. All this for your brother. Why must we save your brother? Come on, Flaggy. He killed Arne. He nearly killed me. He betrayed all of us. This is not just about Rory. No. It's also about the priest who lured us here. How can you trust him? You talk about trust. Yeah. Uh -huh. You. What do you say? I am a trustworthy person. They really are not doing it like an inside man. Like, Floki really is going against Ragnar. Fuck's sake. Really. Oh, that fucking sucks, man. The king will agree to pay you monies and or treasures to prevent any further depredations of his territories. More importantly, he is prepared to offer 5,000 acres of good land for farming. Finally, may I present to you Princess Quendra in the Kingdom of Mercy. King Egbert and the princess are willing to pay any of your warriors a fat fee for fighting for them. What about my brother? The king will agree to release Rollo upon your acceptance of his offer.